All right, a nonprofit that bails people out of jail all across the country now under fire, ceasing operations in Las Vegas. This after bailing out a man who, less than a week after being released, allegedly shot someone 11 times, nearly killing them. Now, the bail project says its mission is to, quote, end cash bail and fuel momentum for equal justice. The group has been championed by celebrities like Richard Branson, John Legend, and Danny Glover. But now it's the target of a lawsuit filed by the man who was almost killed, who says that that nonprofit unleashed a dangerous killer with a lengthy criminal history back on the street. Vanessa Murphy from our Las Vegas affiliate KLAS explains. Are you sorry? Um, uh, I'm sorry that anybody has to go through anything like that. This surveillance video shows Rashawn Anderson the night he shot a Chinatown restaurant worker 11 times while he was out on bail for a previous crime. Well, sometimes people have mental breakdowns. Prosecutors detail a timeline in court records. In November of 2021, Anderson is arrested for pandering and carrying a concealed weapon. He's released without having to pay bail and told to stay out of trouble. The next day, he's arrested again for burglary and theft. The Bail Project, a nonprofit, posts $3,000 bond. Six days later, Anderson opens fire on Wang. It's an absolute tragedy, and the Bell Project, myself speaking for the Bell Project, found it absolutely shocking. In January, we spoke with the Bail Project Regional Director Cameron Pipe. Did the Bail Project find any red flags to indicate perhaps he wasn't the right candidate to help out? Every single decision that we make at the Bell Project goes through the same exact thorough review. In September, the victim, Cheng Yon Wang, filed this lawsuit against the Bail Project for bailing Anderson out despite his criminal record. I don't think they care. And truly, they don't care because some man nearly lost his life. Husband and wife Manny and Lilia Ceballos run Aztec bail bonds in Las Vegas. We've been doing this for 17 years. They question the bail project's tactics while they claim they adhere to guidelines. You know, we pick and choose who we want to do business with. We just don't bail out uh, habitual uh, problem cases. The Bail Project says bail shouldn't be a business to begin with and disproportionately affects the low income and people of color. I probably wouldn't have been able to uh, co-sign for myself because I'm not from out here. Anderson told us he did have the money but needed a co-signer. When we reached out again to the Bail Project in December, Deputy General Counsel Katie Poor did an interview. We provide free bail assistance and um, what we call community release with support which uh, includes rides to and from court, court notifications, and we attempt to navigate services available in the community uh, based on our client's self-identified needs. But Anderson, who told us he was previously diagnosed as schizophrenic, claims that didn't happen. Did they offer you any mental health resources? Poor refused to answer questions about Anderson's case. Unfortunately, because of the pending litigation, I'm not able to address that specific case. She points out innocent until proven guilty, and the conditions of bail are set by a judge. Court records show Las Vegas Justice Court Judge Amy Cellini set Anderson's at 3,000, and that's what the Clark County District Attorney's Office asked for. Anderson says his public defender then referred him to the bail project. 50 other defendants with both non violent and violent charges have been bailed out by the group in Las Vegas since February of 2021, according to a spokesperson, and 91% of them returned to their court dates. While Pipe said there was an internal review after the shooting, again, Poor wouldn't comment on whether changes have been made. Anderson, who spoke with us from jail, is heading to prison to serve seven to 18 years. I don't think I'm a danger to, to the community. Vanessa Murphy, News Nation, Las Vegas. And the bail project claims it closed its Las Vegas branch for other reasons. In a statement, the group tells News Nation it had nothing to do with the litigation, going on to say, quote, we monitor the volume of people served by our local sites and periodically reassess the allocation of staff and bail capital across the country accordingly. As part of this ongoing recalibration, we closed our site in Vegas earlier this month. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.